an enslaved college graduate is someone who goes out not seeing that Christ is the Lord of the world around them and not seeing that they're called to serve Christ in the world around them. Somebody who goes out of college thinking that they are, um, that they are trying to get approval and recognition from someone other than Christ. Um, ultimately, I mean, obviously, we have to. There's, we're obligated to please your boss and to take care of the things that you need to take care of. But there is a subservience that is created by a lot of our colleges today. I think that um, the the neat, the way college, the business of college has been done over the last 50 years is really interesting, and some of it has to do with the way federal money has come in. And then that requires accreditation and all of this verification to make sure that the federal money is being used okay. And then some of it has to do with the way I think that the left has done a really good job of taking over education and owning it. But what's happened is, is that in higher education, the thing that dominates is this um, need to um, achieve approval from your peers in one way or another. I mean, that's the way the whole um, professor system works is, uh, you need you need peer validation, and then as an institution, you need institutional validation from your peer institutions. That's how accreditation works, and so everything that we do is about compliance and achieving validation from our peers, which has pushed our colleges in this direction where they're really institutions that generate. Um, lemmings, you know, in a, in a way where, where they're, they're institutions that, that drill into you the importance of not saying the wrong thing, not saying the offensive thing, not saying the thing that will get you in trouble, as well as um, I think we see that a lot of our businesses, men who are really successful in business become really um, dismissive of the role that college could have in preparing people for business because the guys who are really successful in business tend to be far more entrepreneurial which means they they got where they are by doing the thing that everybody said to not do. And you don't get people who do that um, out of our current college system. We really push against the entrepreneurial. We, we push against the person who's gonna kind of upend the system. Um, and, and our technology, you know, a lot of our really innovative business and technology has tended to come from people who dropped out of college, from people who went somewhere else because that's not the kind of atmosphere our colleges breed right now. And you, you can that has implications in business, but I think it also has implications in faith. Our, um, we tend to think of colleges where we breed our next generation of church leaders, but the students who are the graduates who come out of our Christian colleges are, um, are coming out at the tail end of this long process of teaching you to not do the thing that would get you in trouble, but that's not how the gospel came. Jesus came um, as the Nazarene. He came, you know, right after John the Baptist coming out of the wilderness. The faith always comes in as this thing out of nowhere that upends everything, and our colleges are not set up to breed that kind of faithful Christian leader.